Isabel and today I'm here to do the Dark Academia book tag. I don't know about you but I can't wait for autumn to finally really start and the whole Dark Academia aesthetic and theme just really reminds me of autumn and that's why I kind of want to have all of the autumn feelings already even though it's still way too bright and warm outside. <laughs> The tag was created by Carolyn from Carolyn Marie Reads and Emma. I think her channel is called Emmy. And I came across this tag while watching Olivia uh, from Stories for Coffee because she also did this tag. And I will link all of their videos below because all of their channels just have that autumnal dark academia feeling to it and I really enjoy that. So if you want more of that, go and check out their videos as well. But without further ado, I will get right into the questions. Question number one is, what is your favourite academia or dark book and movie? My favourite dark academia book is probably a bit of a cliché, but I couldn't choose any other. And it is If We Were Villains by Emil Rio. As an English student who also happens to be in the theatre group and has a passion for Shakespeare, this is just the perfect book for me because it is about a group of theatre students who perform Shakespeare plays and as you would expect in a dark academia book they are very pretentious and everything goes terribly wrong. There's love, there's drama, there's murder, there's just everything you would want. So if for some reason you haven't read If We Were Willens yet and want to get more into dark academia I highly recommend you pick this one up. And to get to the second part of this question, which is about a academia or dark movie, I don't think I have any favourite dark academia movies, but I certainly have some favourite dark movies. And I couldn't choose just one, so I'm gonna talk about a favourite director of mine and both of the movies of his that I've seen. And the director is Robert Eggers and apparently I just love everything he does, so I'm going to recommend to you both The Witch and The Lighthouse. And I think they kind of fit the dark academia theme because they're both historical and very accurate in their setting and costume choices. And the way they are made is also quite interesting. Everything fits together really perfectly. The setting, the costumes, the music, the filming style. The lighthouse is actually completely black and white, so that was kind of an interesting experience to get a modern movie but in black and white. And they both have a very dark and brooding atmosphere and you never quite know what will happen next but you know that something will certainly go wrong. And I also just recently learned that Robert Eggers wrote a screenplay together with one of my absolute favourite authors, Sion. I have his book right here. Um, and that movie is currently being filmed, I think, and it's called The Northman. And it is a epic Viking revenge tale set in the 10th century in Iceland, I think is more or less what is known about it so far. And I'm so incredibly excited for that movie. I don't think I've ever been so excited for a movie ever because it just sounds amazing. It's my favourite director together with my favourite author and the cast is great and it's set in Iceland and I can't wait for that movie to come out. The next question is what dead poet would you like to have a drink with? And I think I would like to go and have coffee with Dorothy Parker. Dorothy Parker is a poet whom I have only recently been introduced to by a friend. So Lux, if you're watching, thank you so much for introducing me to Dorothy Parker because her poems are very sarcastic and sassy and I love poetry that is like that. And I think she would be a really interesting woman to have coffee with because she was kind of rebellious and, as I said, sassy and sarcastic and I think we would have nice conversations. Question number three is, what is your favourite painting and or sculpture? This is the moment when we realise that I'm actually not as cultured as I would like to pretend to be because I don't really know that much about 
paintings and sculptures. But I did recently go to the museum and they had an exhibition all about Karl Spitzweg's paintings and I did really enjoy his paintings and the exhibition in general. So I think the two paintings of his that I like the most are Der Kaktusfreund, which just makes me really happy because it's so green and has plants in it and who doesn't love being surrounded by cacti? And the other one of his that I really enjoy is Der Bücherwurm and I mean obviously I love it, it's about a bookworm and I would love to have that library. Question number four is what is your favourite architectural marvel? I went with the Edinburgh Castle because I've been there twice I think and it's just very impressive to look at and I'm always impressed by very old buildings that have somehow survived all the way to our times. Obviously they've been renovated and maybe changed but still there's just something very special I feel like about old buildings and especially castles. Question number five is what Shakespeare play would you want to be the lead in? And this is such a difficult question because uh, there are so many Shakespeare plays with amazing roles in them but I think if I had to pick just one it would be As You Like It because I think playing Rosalind would be a really fun experience but I would also kind of like to be Touchstone because I think he's my favourite fool of all of the plays though kind of tied with Jaquees so just one of those three from As You Like It, Jaquees, Touchstone or Rosalind. Not that I'm a good actor by any means, I would never be in a play actually, but I think those would be interesting roles to have. Question number six is how many languages do you speak and which language would you most like to learn? I speak English, as you can see. I also speak two types of German, Swiss German, which is my mother tongue, and High German. and. I don't think they technically count as two separate languages but us Swiss German speakers like to pretend that Swiss German is a separate language so there you go. I also speak a tiny bit of French. I had French for oh, I think about seven years in school and the amount of French that I speak is terrifyingly little for that fact but yeah I can say some basic phrases and understand a bit but I wouldn't really say that I speak French. So yeah I think the honest answer is I speak two languages English and German. As for languages that I would like to learn I would really like to be able to speak Italian because I think it's a beautiful language and I actually have some Italian relatives and I think it's a pity that I can't speak Italian myself. I also find Scandinavian languages really interesting and I think Learning, for example, Norwegian might be fun. Question number seven is again an unanswerable one and it is What is your favourite quote from poetry, prose, plays, etc? It changes all the time but I think at the moment it is a quote from Macbeth because I've recently been working with the text from Macbeth a lot so that's just what's in my mind anyway and I think my favourite lines in this play are Macbeth's tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow speech. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time and all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle, life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his time upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. That speech just gets me every time. Question number eight. We're moving into morbid territory. Be warned. <laughs> Which fictional character's death is your ideal way to go? I love this question for some reason. And there are so many options, but the one that I will go with is one of the characters from Agatha Christie's and then there were none. And if you haven't read it yet you should skip to the next question because you really don't want to be spoiled for this book. So this is your spoiler warning, you can come back once it's gone. For all those of you who have read and then there were none, I think my favourite way to go would be 
like the judge in here because he has the most elaborate suicide plan that I've ever heard of and he takes a bunch of terrible people with him and just leaves this huge mystery after him and for some reason I just really respect that and I think that would be a fabulous way to go. Question number nine is what university or college would you most like to attend? I'm actually really happy at the university that I'm at now. I just wish that we could go back to having courses on actual university grounds, but it doesn't look like that will be a thing again soon, so I guess at the moment it doesn't really matter which university you attend, because you're probably gonna work from home anyway. But if I had to pick a different university and could actually go to the university again, I think I would like to be at the University of Edinburgh. And yes, there's a pattern, I would just really like to be in Scotland. Question number 10, we're back with the morbid questions. It is, what is your murder weapon or murder method of choice? I've actually talked to my friends about that. Yes, we have interesting conversations. <laughs> and we decided that my murder weapon of choice would be words. Don't ask me how that would work exactly, I have no idea, but I just like the idea of words being used as a murder weapon. Question number 11 is what mythology would you most like to be a part of? I don't actually know that many different mythologies, I mostly know Greek or Norse, and I really don't like the idea of having to live in the same realm as Zeus, so I guess my answer would have to be Norse mythology. They also just seem like they got up to a lot of fun, so I would like to join in on that. And I also think knowing Loki will be fun. <laughs> Question number 12 is, if you had to do a PhD, what would you choose to do it on? I am currently studying English and I think I would like to do a PhD in English literature. I have no idea what exactly I would do. Probably something about gothic literature or maybe fairy tale retellings, I don't know. But yeah, English literature and something along those lines is certainly something that I could see myself do a PhD on. Question number 13 is, which fictional character would you die for? Very dramatic. And my answer is Mary Cat Blackwood from We Have Always Lived in a Castle because she's precious, she's a great character, really interesting to read about, and I really like her. Now for the last part of this tag there are some rapid fire questions. So let's do this. Leather bound or cloth bound books? Cloth bound books. Dog earring pages or highlighting pages? Highlighting pages. Sculptures or paintings? As you've seen I know literally nothing about sculptures so paintings. Piano or violin? Piano for sure. Films or theatre? Ooh that's a hard one. I can only pick one theatre. Poetry or prose? I love both, but prose. Museums or bookshops? Bookshops. The smell of books or the smell of coffee or tea? The smell of coffee or tea. Fountain pen or typewriter? Oh, do I have to choose? Fountain pen. New or used books? All of the books. Used. And that's it for the Dark Academia tag. I am now really in the mood to read some more Dark Academia-ish books and watch movies in that vein and just fully embrace the Dark Academia aesthetic and make art and be here already. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, the links to the other videos from the creators and from Olivia will be linked in the description so that you can get more of that dark academia goodness and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!